today I am the uh, short-haired rarity of uh, Dr. Jex, and uh, I have this this package from Amazon, which may or may not contain a blaster. Uh, we uh, I've already felt through the bubble wrap and everything. Uh, it's a blaster. It's a blaster you've probably never seen before. It's a blaster I've seen before. I've had my hands on. I've done wonderful things to. Uh, it's not the greatest blaster ever, but it also kind of is. Uh, it, it will probably never hit more than elite ranges, if it can manage that, but it will give you loads of fun, and it comes with range claims, but they're not accurate. Range claims are bad. They are range claims from children not adults. If you're an adult, you can bury those range claims, almost double them. Uh, so, enough, enough talking about it. Let's, let's find out if this actually is exactly what I ordered, and uh, is a good friend from my past. Oh, that looks promising. That looks very promising. Uh, as you can clearly see, uh, you get a nice tap, uh, target on the back of this card. Let's uh, remove this bubble wrap. This thing is well wrapped, given what what kind of a product it. Oh, oh man, the, the plastic is damaged. Not on the plaster. But on the, the 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 plastic that holds the uh, the plaster inside of it. Today we are looking at the uh, Poof Slinky brand. Ooh, that name needs to be workshopped, I think. Uh, Super Air Dart Launcher. So uh, perhaps we should quit calling this a blaster and start calling it a launcher. Uh, I guess that's enough suspense. Let's uh, show you what we're dealing with here. Is uh, this guy. It comes with a whole two darts. Well, I, I was going to have qualms about leaving this in the package, but uh, this package is in worse shape than the uh, original one I kept from my old one. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to rip him out of there. Oof, that's stiff. That'll, that'll probably need to be worked in. Uh, these stickers, they don't last long, but they do, uh, like, peel off somehow. These darts are not the same quality as the ones my original one came with either. I mean, the foam is, but the, the heads are less centered. So uh, these are clearly from the end of its production run. Or perhaps they make these one at a time. I got that. That doesn't smell good. But uh, if we go back to this guy's card, it, uh, it, it promises ranges over 30 feet. And, uh, well, let's, let's see if we can do that. Now, I do have to warn you, this is not barreled for elites. Uh, and, uh, as you can see, this does not seal on the shaft of the dart. It seals on the head of the dart, which is huge. Oh, this is not what I remember at all. You know, I don't think these are the same quality of dirts. Oh, geez. Chair, behave yourself. So, let's find out. Let's go into my vintage dart thing here and uh, pull out the two original darts that I have. And, uh, yeah, this foam from the original is much softer than this stuff. Uh, as you can see, I attempted to uh, modify this dart for performance back in the day before I knew what I was, what I was doing. Yeah, the full quality is completely different. Well, it's accurate anyways. That one might only have gone 30 feet, but that, to be fair, the, uh, the handle on this one is way harder than my original one. And 
uh, I should I should pretty well remember what the handle on my old one uh, felt like because uh, I I still have it here today. Now you can obviously tell with this uh, duct tape sheath on here, the original handle was gone, and uh, underneath this foam and tape, the original barrel is also gone. Well, not gone. It's um. It's here too. But uh, of course I uh, ripped it off because it uh, was in the way of me uh, rebuilding. Oh hey, what well, do you know? That isn't even solid welded on. That's perfect. This one looks like I actually had to pry off with the screwdriver. This one's just loose. I guess that's probably what happens with blasters that sit in a warehouse and uh, don't get used. But uh, yeah, this one is much more comfortable. Well, you'll notice if the barrel's moving and you think, oh, that's going to decrease accuracy, right? It isn't. It doesn't. Because the dart will leave the barrel before that bends. What is going on here? This super dart doesn't like this barrel very much for some reason. But, uh, yeah, that'll launch an elite dart probably 70 feet, actually. Yeah, but I'm seeing it. No, oh, I'm so unprepared I didn't bother to, to uh, collect a bunch of elites to shoot out of this guy. Yeah, that sets firing darts pretty darn good. Now you're thinking, okay, well, that's really too big for uh, elite darts. What about Mega? Find out, what about Mega? It can probably do Mega, it looks like. That was sad. That was, that was horrible. Good news, I have the CPVC Mega adapter here for the, uh, the good one. That was also horrible. What the heck? That's not right. Alright, they don't like Mega. But, uh, yeah, their stock barrel. You might be able to use this for something. It does have a dart stop to keep it from backing your arms in. Because you can imagine, if you give this a squeeze and then load a dart in there, it's going to go and fill with, try to fill with air, and that dart's in the way, so it's going to suck it backwards. Now, when I rebarreled this one, I put in part of a, uh, a paper clip as a dart stop. Uh, not that it's going to be able to suck a dart down the CBPC barrel that's in here. And this is just covered in the kind of uh, insulation foam you can buy for uh, various pipes uh, that you can buy at hardware stores. And uh, of course, an orange tip uh, and foam. Uh, since this is all made out of, you know, squish rubber that's meant to be squished and foam, I can, you know, use this as kind of a uh, shoot then throw melee device. And it has a, uh, a nice duct tape holster with a strap for a uh, belt loop, very big belt loop strap that fits various kinds of battle belts. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in this uh, one I just ordered off of Amazon that, you know, that the plastic is hard and such. The good news is, or not the plastic, but this rubber urethane mess stuff. And again, maybe my, this one needed breaking into. That could be, it, it might need softened up. Now you're thinking, Okay, well, how long does that last before it cracks? Uh, apparently quite a good long while, because I've had this one for quite a while. And there's a spot here where you can clearly see that the corners are thinner than the rest of it. And I figured it would have blown out by now, but actually the seam is even opening up a touch. But uh, I'm not sure when about they blow up. I imagine if it does blow up, you can probably repair it with rubber cement, the way you would an, an inner tube or anything else, or 
you know, at some point in the future, it might even need, like, uh, patches. But I'd, I'd be willing to do that, because this blaster isn't the most powerful blaster in the world, but uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, very simple to use, and uh, you get rid of all the plastic on it, and uh, you can have yourself a lot of fun. Also, it gives you, you know, a tiny Tommy Gun style foregrip. So that's neat. I mean, this blaster is made almost entirely out of solid. Well, the grip does screw together in two places, and then it will just come off. Alternatively, I think you can, yeah, you know, forcibly rest it off like that because the quality there is not great. The quality of the barrel is. Yeah. And then down here, I think to get that loose, you're just going to want to maybe apply some heat. Alternatively, to me, well, maybe not. I think you just want to apply, you know, a, an edge to that and very carefully separate the two. That ring is supposed to be solved a little bit on, I'm sure, but they didn't because, you know, they failed. This, this this blaster doesn't cost a whole lot. I think this one cost me around eight bucks, and you know that includes you know Amazon free slow snails shipping. Um, although this one, it, this didn't particularly have very far to go when I ordered it, but I also you know also ordered the uh, say also so many times. Now. I did order the uh, ammo refill pack. Uh, replace the fact, that, or to augment the fact that it only comes with two darts. That seems uh, awfully stingy to me. But uh, yeah, when I bought my this one new years ago, that's to be fair. This one, you know, they're probably both the same age, and you know, that was years ago. Like I said. Uh, I was easily shooting the stock darts uh, 50 feet. Oh yes, I forgot to mention. See if I can find one. Well, my original dart, I did take a Part, uh, or separate the uh, dart head from the shaft. I can't now because I've hot glued it back together and that will destroy the structure of the dart. I discovered that between the foam shaft and the head was a small uh, plastic bead uh, which I believe was put there in an attempt to uh, increase the weight of the dart head. And if we open up the one from the blaster we just bought, sure enough, a little plastic bead hanging out right there. So, uh, yeah. This looks almost like it's supposed to be a fake marble or something. Yeah, they didn't even get hot glue all the way around the edge of this either, though, which is silliness. So, yeah, they even come with the, a weighted uh, dart head. And, of course, the, uh, the darts themselves kind of look like, you know, the, uh, the Royal Guard or whatever they're called, the, the, the guys in the big bear, bear fur hats that guard the, uh, the Queen's Palace. They've kind of got that look. Or like one of those Russian hats. Take your pick. They, they resemble that. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, that is the, uh, Super Air Dart Launcher by uh, Poof Slinky. Or Poof Slinky, yeah. Yep, that's the brand name. Duh. You know, if you can find one where the grip is still nice and soft and supple, uh, they can be a lot of fun for you. I have, I have fielded one of these in a war, but uh, I never ended up drawing it because I had... Uh, a hammer shot that the, the whole cert was a pain to load back into because of reasons, reasons, and then also a reaper that I couldn't hold or holster, so I had to carry those about and never had the, uh, the chance to draw this out and use it to 
to unfold at my enemies, and because the uh, event organizers were uh, terrified of lawsuit, they would allow no melee. So, you know, I couldn't even draw this, you know, pop off its shot and then throw it about as I, uh, as, 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 as it was intended. I should quit stumbling is what I should do. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Doesn't weigh much, and uh, this one would be uh, perfectly soft or safe to, uh, you know, give it a decent toss at a, uh, your opponent on the field with. Or, you know, if they got, if it was a zombie rushing you super close, you could, you know, give them a, a good uh, slice and uh, halt their advance. Monster is uh, a lot of fun. I think I'm going to take and try to break this one in, hopefully without injuring myself, and uh, maybe I'll make an update at some point in the future. And uh, if I can't get this to uh, soften up, I'll just hang it on the wall with the dirt hanging out of it. And uh, see what that gets me. It was uh, a little disappointing to order one of these new off of Amazon. Well, not new, but NOS off Amazon, and it'd be way more of a pain than it should be to operate. Uh, so, if you decide to order these ones, you may get luck of the draw and, you know, uh, the grip not be too hard enough to uh, use, but trying to figure out how to end this video. If you want me to upload more videos, you need to leave a comment down below uh, and let me know that, okay? Oh, right. Uh, if you want me to upload more regularly, you have to leave a comment in the... a comment in the... Uh, we're editing this. <laughs>